Is a job hop too risky right now? Should I wait for a better market slash offer? So this person who currently works at Capital One, who is anonymous to us, says they got an offer for 210000 in New York, and they currently make 150 k at Capital One. A couple things else to note here. So one of them is they say they feel safe from being laid off due to their performance at Capital One. And uh, they're concerned that if they jump to Amazon, they could be laid off because they're brand new. So there's a question of, should I, you know, wait out the storm and uh, wait for a better offer or for the market to be less weird, or should I continue? There's a couple points that I have here. So one of them is, you know, let's consider which tech companies are actually having trouble. That's, you know, Snapchat, Facebook which is definitely Facebook and it's not meta. Google is also having, they had some situation with hiring freezes. So something to consider is while, you know, the economy is a little weird right now, Amazon is always going to be selling because it's Amazon and people need to buy things. So while, uh, you know, revenue might go down, there's still a whole lot of opportunity and a whole lot of work. I'm personally not someone who's concerned with the, the whole situation when it comes to tech. Obviously, like there's huge problems, but specifically in this case, I'm not too concerned about job cuts affecting like with taking a new position at Amazon. What I would be more concerned about is essentially becoming a slave worker at Amazon. You know, I'm not to say that they do that, but you know, just something to consider is how hard you'd be working at Amazon. <laughs> so aside from that, I think the, the bigger point here to be made is, you know, it's essentially a 60K jump. A lot of people are here saying, you know, 60K is not a whole lot and so on and so forth because he's, this guy, this person is at 150K. I would say they're kind of underselling the 60K. It is a considerable jump. It is helpful. But, you know, I personally am not somebody who would make that jump just because of the fact that it's Amazon. It's not somewhere I'd want to work. I would guess that Capital One's work culture is a little bit better. But, you know, just something to consider. And while it is tightening its belt and cut costs, it's not the same as, you know, companies like Facebook and Snapchat and Netflix, so on and so forth. So I would say, you know, be careful with like the with the worrying about layoffs and chaos and all that and make an educated decision around what companies you want to join. In my position, I would say um, if you're willing to work at Amazon, it's not a bad idea because, you know, one, you get the you get the Amazon badge as a place you've worked at and uh, you get an additional 60K. For me, I like <laughs> I like smooth full time jobs. I don't like being overworked. So that's something to consider.